Hi, I'm Norman A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. I interview America's top advisors, like today's guest, Greg Curran of Maynard, Cooper & Gale, to help business owners enjoy more personal freedom, grow their companies faster, and transition ownership seamlessly when the time comes. Welcome to the show, Greg. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're going to start out. I'm just going to have you tell our audience a little bit about your background and your career path up until now. Okay. I'm a, a, a business lawyer at Maynard Cooper. I've been I spent my entire career in Birmingham. Okay. My focus is really being a general counsel to mostly privately owned businesses. We mm -hmm. focus on mergers and acquisitions for our be sort of the steadiest part of our diet, but we do all sorts of business transactions. Mm -hmm. um, I do a lot of business advisory work. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I've seen a lot over 25 years, so uh, I, I try to bring my experience to the table with, with our clients. And so mm -hmm. we, my uh, practice has sort of evolved primarily into private company representation. Our, our corporate group still represents a lot of public companies, but I have shifted more of my focus to private business owners. Okay. So you and I just met. Can you tell our audience how the people that know you the best would describe you personally? You know, I would say, you know, people uh, would consider me to be fairly reserved and thoughtful. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Hardworking, mm -hmm. maybe obsessive, mm -hmm. um, which is, uh, I'm guilty as charged. <laughs> right. Um, but, you know, I tend to be... Um, a, sort of a one-on-one -on -one person. Okay. I, I enjoy personal relationships both outside and, and inside of my professional life and that's really what drives my my practice and my style of practice. Okay. And that would be how I would answer that question. Okay. And Maynard Cooper, can you describe some of the services the firm offers? Yeah. We are a, a large firm by Alabama standards. Mm -hmm. We are uh, a full service corporate law firm. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, in general general terms, we have a litigation side of our practice, which is mostly defense work, but typical of a firm our size. Mm -hmm. We have a, a general business section of the firm, which is comprised of um, general corporate securities and tax work, which is a group that I work in. Mm -hmm. And we have um, lending, real estate, public finance. But So we, we consider ourselves a full service Mm -hmm. a corporate law firm mm -hmm. um, and we uh, really do everything that one sort of if, if any, for those who are familiar with the legal profession that we would be we would look fairly typical of that um, of a full service corporate law firm okay is there anything that differentiates you from some of the other law firms in Alabama you think you know I, I think so I think it's one of culture we our firm um, started in 1984, which is now 30 years ago plus, right. but it was a self-selected group of like-minded people mm -hmm. and they were very entrepreneurial. They were mm -hmm. young at the time mm -hmm. and that sort of entrepreneurial sort of youthful focus has really sort of set the tone for our culture. Mm -hmm. um, we we tend to be sort of very client focused. Mm -hmm. The founders of our firm were that and uh, we started with a sophisticated practice, but not, you know, as much of the sort of large institution. It was more, um, again, more entrepreneurial and small firm culture. Mm -hmm. As we've grown, mm -hmm. um, we, um, our practice has grown significantly in 30 years, as you would guess. Mm -hmm. um, but really, it's the entrepreneurial sort of approach. Uh, we. We don't take a one-size-fits-all approach, and, and it's, it's always been part of our culture. And I think that um, if you asked our lawyers inside of our law firm, I think they still feel that you know, as part of our firm. So I think that's we still feel like we came from a small firm, entrepreneurial, client-driven background. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say that's sort of what still we maintain that. We still maintain that. Okay, good. What do you like to do the best? At, uh, you know, I just, I like representing business owners. I mean, that's part of the reason why my practice um, moved from sort of the public company mm -hmm. setting to a private company setting. I like business owners define strategy, make 
big decisions, help them implement those decisions, help define their long-term and short-term objectives, mm -hmm. and, and be part of their decision-making team. Uh, you know, the thing that I have always loved as a corporate lawyer is being part of the management team. Mm -hmm. A lot of our clients don't have general counsels. A lot of the clients that I work with don't have their general counsel, and so mm -hmm. they look to me to help them mm -hmm. make not just legal decisions, but business decisions, define strategy, solve problems, mm -hmm. achieve long-term goals. And I, I just, that's what I enjoy. I enjoy being sort of part of the team. Okay. When you got into the legal profession, was there any certain reason that you decided you wanted to be an attorney and then more, you know, following that, how did you choose to pursue this path and, and why do you stay on it? Well, my dad is a, a lawyer. I okay. watched him. I grew up watching him be a lawyer. He's 83 and still works full time. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. might explain a few things. Uh, <laughs> That's good. Uh, some people accuse me of following that same path. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see. Um, and, and, you know, I really looked at being a business lawyer as, and I, and I did decide this in law school. I wanted to be part of a prospective you know, sort of solution. I wanted to work with clients looking forward mm -hmm. toward trying to accomplish a specific goal mm -hmm. as opposed to litigation, which is really mm -hmm. sort of a backwards looking right. um, practice trying to solve a problem that already exists. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to, I'm just more of a, I like to try to solve problems that don't yet exist or that, mm -hmm. that are, are uh, still solvable. Right. In the, in, in a proactive, productive way. So that's just my mm -hmm. sort of personality and, and how I chose that path. Okay. Last question. Business owners watch our show for one of a few reasons. Uh, sometimes they're looking for a way to uh, maybe take a little more time away from their business to do some other things and looking for advice in that area. Sometimes they're trying to grow their company faster. Sometimes they want to make a transition either to sale to a third party or transfer to an insider like a key employee group or a family member. And then sometimes they're having a hard time redefining their purpose after they sell their company or dragging their feet. Uh, to transition it because they don't know what they'll do next. If you could give them one tip in any one of those four areas, what do you think it would be? You know, the thing I think, and I start every project this way, mm -hmm. and it's amazing how many business people, particularly private business owners, really don't think about this. Mm -hmm. I, I, every project I start, large and small, I try to work with the clients and, and say to them, let's define your objectives. Mm -hmm. You know, let's think at the beginning what you want this to look like at the end mm -hmm. of a big project, small project, or anything in between. And so I think that many business owners just sort of go day to day to day mm -hmm. and look up and they are where they are. And right. so what I try to do is, is sort of help clients step back mm -hmm. and uh, think about their bigger picture goals or mm -hmm. their goals with respect to a particular project mm -hmm. and say, what do you want to look, this to look like when we're done? Mm -hmm. Whether it's selling a business, whether it's going through a growth strategy, whether it's defining a, a succession plan, you know, what, what are your personal and professional sort of business goals mm -hmm. and, and what should it look like at the end? And that way, I, what I say to them is, then we, we have a, every decision you make mm -hmm. ought to be defined by those objectives. Right. And, and you know, I think that sounds simple, mm -hmm. and it is. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, you know, a lot of business owners are so caught up in their own business and caught up mm -hmm. in the problems of the day that they don't necessarily stop and pause and go through a process of defining those objectives. So mm -hmm. that's sort of my general advice, and that's the advice I sort of, you know, I sort of um, give really every day. Okay. Well, it is simple, but it is, it's also very much overlooked. So that's a really good tip. So thank you. That was Greg Curran. He's with Maynard Cooper in Birmingham, Alabama. For more information about Greg and his firm, please check out the show notes for this episode on our website. Thank you.